Hey folks, we're back with a couple more After Effects speed tests. We are using After Effects version 22.5 for these tests. On the left hand side we have the new M1 Max Ultra, so there's two Max chips in this thing. And on the right hand side we have the reigning champion, for now, the 14 inch M1 Max. You can check out my other speed tests where I put the Max up against a Pro chip both 14 inches, and we really learned that the RAM had a lot to do with speed and our export test, so I'm very excited because this M1 Ultra has 128 gigabytes of memory, which is the most memory I think I've ever used in my whole life. So I'm hoping that this M1 Max Ultra is going to be my forever computer, at least for the next five, 10 years. I don't think I'm going to need anything more powerful than this. This is already pretty crazy for the stuff that I do. I'm also going to be doing screen captures through two external recorders, uh, a Tom Sato and, an, and a Blackmagic video assist. Last time we were doing QuickTime screen captures, which could have hindered some of the speed as well. So hopefully this will help and give us a little crispier screen captures as well. So let's just do a cold restart for both of these and we'll see how fast they both boot up. So we just restarted the computers, we wiped them clean. So we're going to open up our old favorite session, Deep Blue Sea Titles, which you can find on motionarray.com. I'll leave the link in the description down below. And let's just open both of these up and see who starts faster. Okay, so we can see here that the maximum disk cache size on the Ultra is 100 gigabytes, which is crazy. And on the right, we're at 50 gigabytes. You could push it a little more probably, but might as well just do a one to two ratio and we'll really see if we get two times the amount of speed out of this. So while I was futzing around, that gave the M1 Ultra a little bit of a head start for rendering. Now it's gotta work. M1 Ultra is keeping up around 6-7 frames per second. Let's uh, take it down to quarter resolution because I know a lot of us aren't working in full resolution while we're editing. So in quarter resolution, they're both doing great, playing in real time. The 14 inch fans have kicked on. That's the one thing about that 14 inch laptop. It's a great laptop, but it does get hot. So we sent them both to the render queue and we're going to export them as ProRes 422. I didn't really mess around with any of the other parameters and we're just going to see who goes faster. I have a stopwatch down below, we'll hit that and let's take it away. All right, the M1 Ultra has finished first. And the 17 inch is at 70%, so we're not two times faster. Two M1 chips 
do not equal to. Okay, so the 14 inch just finished up and it wasn't two times as slow as the Ultra, but it definitely took, you know, an extra four minutes of time to export. And this is where that four minutes adds up. You keep doing this over and over again, that's gonna turn it into hours, days, months, life. You know, this is all, this is your quality of lifetime that this stuff affects. And I don't know how many months of my life have been spent waiting for exports. So if you can afford it, and this is your job, your full-time job, editing, designing, doing graphic work, it really comes in handy to have this boost. And the good news is that they're just gonna be doing the exact same thing with these M2 chips that were just released. They're gonna keep stacking them, making them ultra, making them quadruple stacking them. We are gonna see some crazy speed coming out in the next couple years. So very exciting for people who do a lot of renders and exports. So let's quit After Effects, restart it, and then we're gonna run this. Maybe just one of the clips will export in animation mode. Okay, so we just restarted, pulled up deep blue titles again, and we are only looking at scene dolphin one. And they both did pretty good at playing. This is in full resolution right now. So let's just export this in animation mode. It's a animation mode is usually a very large file. Very crispy, very nice image, but it usually takes a long time to export and it's a huge file usually. So this will be a good test. Wow. Wow, they both finished at the same time. That is very interesting. All right, that wasn't the greatest test, so let's do the whole sequence, all of them, in animation mode. So we're gonna jump into time-lapse mode now. All right, so the 14 inch just wrapped up at around 10 and a half minutes. Definitely nothing to sneeze at. This is a very fast laptop. I've been using it for the last nine months and I am extremely happy with it. I love the speed of it. I love all the extras, the HDMI port, the SD card reader. All of these things has made this 14 inch a media creation powerhouse. But as we're seeing when you're back in the studio and you just need to crank stuff out in your exports and your renders and your edits, you cannot beat this M1 Ultra. For now, at least. Just give Apple a couple months. We know how they do it. The price will stay the same, but the tech will get two times as fast. We're on to you, Apple. We know what's up. So let's shut this down. We will restart After Effects. And I have another session that we can try out and do some more rendering and exporting real fast. So we opened up another template from Motion Array, and this one is called Earth Planet. So you can go download it for yourself, test out your own system. We are playing at full resolution, 
pretty much just kicked them off right in the beginning. And you can see that the M1 Ultra were running pretty high frames per second. And it's practically real time. The 14 inch is definitely keeping up and getting through it as well. So let's kick this down to quarter resolution and see how that works for everyone. So you can see here that the 14 inch is actually keeping up pretty well. Was playing in real time the whole time while the M1 Ultra had a couple little hiccups. So let's export this in our favorite ProRes 422 and we will see who is fastest. Oh, we were close. Under seven minutes, that's great. So maybe the M1 Ultra is just two times faster, and that's about it. Let's try one more render. We will do this in animation mode and see how well they do again. Okay, this is our animation codec test. Once again on the left, the M1 Ultra Studio, and on the right, the M1 Max 14 inch laptop. Okay, the M1 MacBook Pro just finished up. A little over half time, not too much. But still very impressive. So I hope this helped you get some eyeballs on this new M1 Ultra, the studio design. It is pretty sleek. And if you're a professional cranking out video, graphics, motion graphics, you know how much you need the speed. With all the renders from clients, you just want to crank this stuff out as fast as possible. Make the client happy and get on with your life. Once again, folks, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe down below. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers in the next couple months, so your support and your help in that is so appreciated from me. You guys have really no idea how much one subscriber means to me every day really makes my day. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you at the next one. Take care.